On this trip through the digestive system, we will study secretion, the production and release of juices and hormones by the GI tract and its accessory glands. The small intestine secretes a watery mucus solution and hormones that control GI activities. Small intestine secretions are important for protection, digestion, and control. Click Protection to learn more. The intestinal mucosa is specialized for absorption. Mucus secreting goblet cells are plentiful. Mucus protects the intestinal mucosa from digestion by acid and proteases and lubricates the contents for ease of movement. Click the portion of the small intestine that is at greatest risk for acid damage. The submucosa of the duodenum contains mucus-secreting duodenal glands that secrete alkaline mucus. Click Digestion to continue. Cells of the crypts secrete the water and electrolytes that combine with mucus to form intestinal juice. Water provides an environment for digestive reactions and adjusts osmolarity. Click the jejunum. Cells of the small intestine do not secrete any digestive enzymes into the lumen, but they do produce digestive enzymes. These enzymes, called brush border enzymes, are bound to microvilli cell membranes. We have already encountered the brush border enzyme entrokinase, which activates trypsinogen. Click Control to continue. In general, secretin and CCK promote intestinal activities and inhibit activities of the stomach. Contents in chyme stimulate secretion of the intestinal hormones, and both hormones have trophic effects on the pancreas. Drag a droplet of acid to an enteroendocrine cell. Acid in the duodenum stimulates secretion of secretin. Secretin stimulates duct cells of the pancreas and the liver to release bicarbonate solution. Because of its actions, secretin is called nature's antacid. Drag a droplet of fat to an enteroendocrine cell. Fat, and to a lesser degree peptides, in the duodenum stimulates secretion of CCK into the bloodstream. CCK stimulates pancreatic acinar cells to release digestive enzymes. CCK is named for its second major function. Coli means bile, cysto means bladder, and kynin means mover. Therefore, CCK is the bile bladder mover. It causes gallbladder contraction and relaxation of the hepatopancreatic sphincter. Notice that CCK causes both enzymes and bile to enter the small intestine, thus providing all the essential compounds needed for digestion. When you are ready to proceed, click Continue. Create a table that lists the functions of all of the secretions that enter the small intestine by dragging each phrase to its correct position. Click Begin to start.
Neutrality reduces the possibility of acid damage to the intestinal wall and is essential for maximal digestive and absorptive activities. Emulsification is necessary for both digestion and absorption of fat. On this page, we will create a table that illustrates the regulation of secretions that enter the small intestine. Think about what you've learned about neural reflexes and GI hormones and answer each question as it comes up. You must answer the question correctly to proceed. Since most intestinal activity occurs as a meal enters the duodenum, we will focus on the intestinal phase of control. During the intestinal phase of control, acid in the duodenum stimulates release of an intestinal hormone. Which hormone? Secretin acts on the pancreas and liver. Which cells does it stimulate? Acinar cells produce digestive enzymes. Identify the cells that produce bicarbonate. Which secretion enters the small intestine in response to secretin? Remember, secretin is nature's antacid. Which secretion neutralizes acid? Will secretion of bicarbonate increase or decrease during the intestinal phase? Fat, and to a lesser degree peptides, in the duodenum stimulate release of an intestinal hormone. Which hormone? When CCK acts on the pancreas, which cells does it stimulate? Which secretion enters the small intestine in response to CCK? Which hormone causes digestive enzymes to enter the small intestine? Will secretion of digestive enzymes increase or decrease during the intestinal phase? CCK causes bile to enter the small intestine by action on another organ. Which organ? Distension of the small intestine and acidic or hypertonic chyme affect mucus and water secretion of the small intestine. Will nerves or a hormone mediate the response? Stretch of smooth muscle often elicits a neural response. Will secretion of intestinal juice increase or decrease? In addition to the regulation of digestion that is governed by food and the thought of food, the ANS can exert control over the operation. What will happen to digestive activity when the sympathetic nerves are activated? What will happen to digestive activity when the parasympathetic nerves are activated? Parasympathetic activation increases digestive activities. Remember that the simple functions of the parasympathetic nervous system are to rest and digest. Small increases in pancreatic and hepatic secretions may occur during the cephalic and gastric phases of control but most activity in the small intestine occurs as it digests and absorbs a meal. Secretion of bicarbonate solutions, digestive enzymes, bile and intestinal juices increase during the intestinal phase of control. The large intestine secretes an alkaline mucus solution containing bicarbonate and potassium. Its sole function is protection. The alkaline mucus solution protects the intestine wall from damage by acids released by resident bacteria. Mucus eases the passage of feces and protects the wall from mechanical damage. Acid and mechanical stimulation, mediated by both long and short reflexes, increase the secretion of alkaline mucus.
Here's a summary of what we've covered. Mucus protects the entire GI tract and eases passage of its contents. The stomach and pancreas produce digestive enzymes. The stomach and small intestine secrete hormones that regulate function of the entire tract. To test your knowledge, click the quiz button to go to the self-quiz.